Hi, my name is Patrick Campbell. I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Consultant with TrueSight Operations. And today we're going to look at what's new in TrueSight Operations 11. Our agenda today is to look at our top challenges, what's new in 11, and enabling customer success. These top challenges include digital and multi-cloud complexity with these four aspects. The need for business agility and innovation, the need to be able to balance the unlimited potential of the cloud with cloud costs, the idea that the mean time to repair could increase with the complexity, and then of, all, of course the human constraints involved in almost any IT endeavor. So we interviewed a thousand CIOs and senior IT professionals, and 80% of these INO leaders say that we must rethink our management approaches, and 78% are looking to artificial intelligence to address complexity. So here's the exciting part. We at BMC believe that the future of I and O leadership is AI ops. Our point of view is that if digital enterprises are going to realize the full potential of multi-cloud environments, I and O leaders must implement a comprehensive AI ops strategy. So we, with TrueSight, are BMC's market leading AI ops platform. We elevate IT operations to improve the quality, performance, and cost of digital services that run in multi-cloud environments. Our BMC AI Ops approach includes our breadth and depth of coverage of our multi-cloud infrastructure. We also have robust monitoring data as well as service desk and incident data and the ability to take this data with machine learning and analytics to automate remediation. So let's take a look at TrueSight as a platform in a little deeper here. So we have data coming from private and public clouds in the data center in that bottom row. And then we can have uh, monitoring from our TrueSight solution, third party monitors, as well as discovering the environment. And then if you look at the ability to do world class event management, root cause analysis, capacity optimization, and service and app impact modeling and incident remediation with the service desk and then with all this data we can do machine learning and analytics to truly be an AI ops platform that is market leading. Our true site differentiation includes the breadth and depth of coverage, our service centric approach and of course our analytics. So we have over a hundred management integrations, high fidelity data collection, on-premises, private, public cloud infrastructure with full stack monitoring from mobile to mainframe. Our service centric approach helps you manage the performance and capacity aligned to a specific business or application or infrastructure service. You, we can have automated workflows with our service desk integration as well as our industry leading service discovery solution that now covers multi-cloud environments. Our analytics span a 10 year history, purpose built for INO use cases, no need to be a data scientist, no coding necessary. We have an open API and we can ingest time series and text information. Now let's take a look at what drives this innovation. Our innovation priorities at TrueSight include experience for the digital enterprise, multi-cloud cost transparency and performance visibility, and analytics to improve performance and service management. We believe that these will provide the following benefits. Create business agility through rapid support of new technology. Improve service performance as defined by lines of business and your users. Optimize resource costs across on-premise and cloud options. Increase your team productivity and augment that with machine assistance. We also believe that you'll ensure data security without sacrificing insight or performance. The new capabilities in TrueSight Operations 11 provide the diagnostic depth and breadth of coverage required to support the digital enterprise. So here's a list of the innovation priorities we talked about before, including analytics, multi-cloud, as well as experience for the enterprise. And all of these features are available in our TrueSight 11 launch. And we'll be looking at the specific features in TrueSight Operations 11 in the coming slide. For analytics, let's take a look at our enhanced anomaly view in our log analytics. 
Log Analytics essentially records what's considered baseline behavior for log entries and then identifies when there's an outlier or rare anomaly collected by Log Analytics. With the enhanced anomaly view, you'll be able to look at the current log entry in context with the historical data. So that way you'll be able to understand how there was a deviation in your log data as well as change in incident data. So with this baseline of historical data, you get the alert of what is anomalous for your environment, and that will help you speed root cause analysis. As an example, here's a view of the current search data and then the historical data over the last five hours. Imagine if you had to do this manually and find these anomalous behaviors in all these volumes of log files. And you'd also have a lack of historical perspective. So with TrueSight Log Analytics, you'll be able to understand better what occurs when you have a rare or outlier based on what's normal in your environment, based on the history. With the interface, you have single click correlation analysis, and you'll be able to create notifications based on these anomalous searches as well as enrich probable cause analysis. And this is available for both log data as well as remedy incident and change request data. Next, let's take a look at what's new in TrueSight Operations 11 for the cloud. As you can see in gray, this is what's already covered. What's new in this release, and we introduce new features and coverage for monitoring on a quarterly basis. And with this release, we have nine new AWS services that you can monitor. This expanded AWS monitoring in this release demonstrates our commitment to being ready when you are with your multi-cloud initiatives and using AWS. They continue to innovate with new services and we keep up as, you know, as up-to-date as possible with our quarterly release cycle. So here highlighting some of the benefits, we see that AWS monitoring can close some gaps in the visibility with your infrastructure performance. You can import custom metrics from CloudWatch as native values, and there's now inclusion of AWS IoT and analytics monitoring for modern stack deployments. This summary slide shows what's covered currently and what's new circled in green. So you can see that we added AWS Linux, storage, IoT, network, Amazon Elastic Map Reduce, which helps you with your big data initiatives, and then enhancements to the CloudWatch management tools, including some metrics and ops works to help with your AWS automation workflows. This last what's new priority for TrueSight operations includes a nice range of new and enhanced features for the bulk of our experience innovations for the digital enterprise. The first of seven of these updates includes dynamic cross-launching, that can be used to link to a service ticket or a knowledge reference for the specific event. And this helps with your quick resolution of events without having to click around to a bunch of different interfaces. This shows you how easy it is to configure from your events by specifying the cross-launch URL here. In this case, we're launching to Smart IT. In this case, we have the incident ID that is dynamically passed through the URL so that you can zero in on the specific ticket associated with this event. Next is our enhanced service view that allows you more choices in viewing the type of configuration items or CIs that you want to visualize in TrueSight. Now you can define and view CIs that don't have to be tied to a business service, but rather to apps, databases, activities, and so on, allowing for more flexibility. Here's a view of some of the services you can prioritize and view from the services menu, such as medical services, outpatient records, and even an organizational service for productivity. With this more flexible definition of CIs in TrueSight, you can expand your visibility of service impact. This third feature adds annotation to events that can help you with troubleshooting. More information about the event can help you reduce the need to resolve and it, by including important details that help you fix the problem. Our tight integration with Remedy Incidents also benefits with this more complete data. For example, in this event, you can see the source of the failure in the annotation. It's an access problem that you'll be able to troubleshoot faster. Although incidents have much of the data you need, 
With fast moving digital enterprises, this flexibility to annotate in the end will help you troubleshoot issues faster, especially for the service desk. This fourth new feature allows you to associate non-time series data with events such as configuration files that can help with troubleshooting. This will give you additional analytic insight and enrich incidents with more complete data. Here we see the complete operating system configuration information for this monitored Windows server. Essentially, having this information in front of you associated with monitoring can help you troubleshoot faster instead of having to dig around or open another tool that shows the configuration. In this next feature, we've enhanced our secure authentication experience with both SAML and two-factor authentication. This gives you a more consistent sign-on experience across BMC products, more secure single sign-on with two-factor authentication, and a more user-friendly experience with the SAML open standard. For SAML, you can just add the configuration here under the Realm tab. These authentication changes going forward provide more up-to-date security so that you have the latest superior protection for your user environments. Still on the subject of security, but switching to application monitoring, this release provides the ability to hide sensitive information in captured transaction data. You'll be able to protect the end user's identity, capture more transactions, and have the flexibility to mask call details. You can define these policies for both .NET and Java apps as shown here. Your organization might have security policies that forbid the use of some transaction traces that include personal data. This feature gives you the option to mask them and troubleshoot application performance without violating security policy. This final new feature allows you to generate events based on connections with secure email servers. This helps with integrating with third-party monitors that can send events to TrueSight from these secure email messages. So you'll be able to comply with security policies and manage a range of events from your third-party monitors and maintain end-to-end -end view of your IT infrastructure. Here's an example of email events coming in from a secure email server. With this feature, you can expand your depth and breadth of coverage beyond TrueSight monitoring, essentially getting an event from any system that can send an email message from a secure email server. So now let's summarize all of these TrueSight Operations 11 innovation priorities. So we have the categories of analytics, cloud, multi-cloud, uh, the experience for the digital enterprise, and we can see the benefits of service performance, business agility, team pro productivity, as well as data security. So our enhanced anomaly view comes from our TrueSight log analytics. Our expanded coverage for AWS monitoring comes from our monitoring repository that we release on a quarterly basis, and then our TrueSight operations platform for the experience for a digital enterprise, we have our dynamic cross-launch capability, an enhanced service view capability. There's detailed event annotation and text parameter inclusion so that you can troubleshoot issues with a faster meet time to repair. Secure authentication includes two-factor authentication as well as SAML for an open standard. We have enhanced confidentiality policies for your application monitoring, and finally, being able to send um, an event from a third party uh, secure email server into TrueSight. So now, if you're ready to get started with TrueSight Operations 11, consider our customer success program. For an upgrade, you might be experiencing one or more of these challenges. Maybe you inherited TrueSight from another colleague. You might have some initiative associated with multi-cloud migration, but you're not quite familiar with the breadth and depth of TrueSight as a world-class monitoring solution. With our customer success program and upgrade process, you'll gain a lot of understanding of best practices. You'll be able to implement your solution efficiently and make sure that you're production ready with little risk to current business processes and increase your overall return on investment.
Here's a summary of the offering with sample activities and benefits. The idea is to invest in a little upfront planning and you end up with a high impact result. Organizations often have trouble allocating time for upgrades and learning best practices in the mix of working on so many other IT initiatives. This customer success program provides a mechanism to invest in the time and resources and get the greatest outcome. Our professional services catalog gives you a range of options to tailor for your environment. We encourage all of you as existing customers to explore these options as you plan your upgrade to TrueSight 11. If you're new, this would be a great introduction to get started using TrueSight with the highest impact. We appreciate your time learning more about what's new in TrueSight 11. Thanks.